Have a look at this picture. There are red squares and blue squares, all containing different things that we could do during this episode of MGTV. I wonder. All you need to do is follow the simple instructions that I'm going to give you and hopefully we'll come to a decision. We begin by holding up a finger like this. Point it towards your face. Now bring it slowly towards your nose. Now pick your nose. <laughs> oh, no. I can't believe you just did that. Don't pick your nose. If you did get a big bogey on the end of your finger, then just wipe it on your clothes. <laughs> Someone will make it disappear a little bit later. Point that finger up to the sky. Now angle it towards the screen. I want you to follow these simple instructions. Step one, point your finger on your hand to any red square. Now stay there. Step two, move right or left to the nearest blue square and stop there. Now, move up or down to the nearest red square. And now, move diagonally to the nearest blue square. Finally, move right or left to the nearest red square and stay there. Congratulations, you all ended up on an episode of MGTV. That's a good thing, because that's what I'm here to do. But before we do that, remember, hit subscribe now, because you do not want to miss updates or any alerts from my YouTube videos on today's show. I am going to show you the magical, mystical linking rings of Edinburgh. You will make an actual stick person drawing dance. How long does it actually take to do a bottle flip? <laughs> and a very sneaky trick with your arm. For today, you will need one arm, a dry erase pen, the type that you would draw on a whiteboard with, one saucer and a little bit of water. And if you've got it, a straw. Yeah, bring a straw just in case. Just in case, we might need it. So, um, should we do some magic? I think we should do some magic. Welcome back. The linking rings of Edinburgh. The mysterious four ring trick. Watch very closely. I will show you right there. Now all you need to do is focus on the rings and the magic will happen all by itself. Ready? One, two, three. And solid passes through solid. That is not a joke about a toilet, by the way. It's amazing, right? Let me put these down for a sec. Check it out. All the way around. But I can unlink them. Spinny spin. Spinny spin. And look. It looks like they are apart. In fact, they are apart. It wasn't an optical illusion that time. They are actually apart. So I'll do it again. So watch very closely, all right? Ready? One, two, three. All the way through. Now, I know I do have two other rings over here, so whatever happens to these two happens to these two as well. Oh, look! Now, which ones do you like better? Do you like these ones or do you like these ones? Let's watch this. Ready? One, two, three. All the way through, we now have four rings, rings all linked together, not rings, rings all the way together. Right, now watch this, it's completely pointless unless you can take them away. So I'm gonna take two off at the same time. Ready, watch this, ready, one, two. Oh, wait a minute, that did not work. I'm now stuck. How to do this, let's see, can try this. There we go, all the way, oh dear. Okay, wait, there we go, two off, two off. Yeah, try and unlock them. Watch very closely, spin it round, and it should just jump right off by itself. Oh dear. <laughs> it went the wrong way, it's not supposed to be down there. I'm not sure how that works actually, now we're, now we're kind of locked together. Wait a second, let's, yeah. oh, there we go, that's better. Okay, one final time I will unlink the linking rings of Edinburgh. Here we go. The linking rings of Edinburgh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you shortly.
trick to try. Start with your hand facing up like this. I am going to make you turn your hand so it's face down. But I'm going to do it so it's not twisting your wrist. Start with your hand like this. Now you've got to keep your wrist as solid as possible. First, bring your hand up to your shoulder. Now swing it in front of your chest. And now put it back in front of you. <gasps> your hand has changed position. Put it back up to your shoulder, in front of your chest, and back in front of you. And now look, the hand is facing down. I told you I could do it. I told you. Just in case you missed it the first time. Up to your shoulder, in front of your chest, in front of you. Up to your shoulder, in front of your chest, back in front of you. And the hand is now facing down without you twisting your wrist. Pew! Place in front of you one saucer. Mine is a rectangle. Yours could be anything. A circle, an oblong, the shape of a hamster perhaps. A banana. We don't need that. Ignore the banana. One of these dry white pens that you would use on a white board. And some water. Time to get arty. First, draw a stick person on the saucer with a dry white pen. Next, grab your water. Now give your stick person a bath. Oh, and look, the stick person comes to life. He is dancing on the plate all by himself. If you happen to have the straw from the last episode, grab it and try this. Pop it into the stick person's head and you can make it the stick person do somersaults. And that's the end of the show. I know, but I hope you all learned something today. I know I did. Especially that cool thing with the arm. Fool your friends with that a little bit later. Next time on MGTV. For the next episode, you will need a pen. Any pen could be the same one as today. A piece of A4 paper. Some scissors and you. I need you to come to the next episode. Please, otherwise if you're not here, then I can't do my job. Bring yourself as well. Remember, hit subscribe now because you do not want to miss updates or any alerts from my YouTube videos. But before I go, I could have sworn I saw this as a circle when I was doing a show this morning. But the people that were watching me kept saying that they saw a square. Do you see a square? I have no idea what they were talking about. I mean, it's only a circle. Isn't it just a... <laughs> see you next time.